property methods are another feature that's particular to Python, although there are similar features in other languages. Often, we want the value of instance attributes to somehow stay in sync. For example, let's say we want a ratio to keep its proportion between numerator and denominator, even when the numerator changes. So if I create 3 fifths, which has a GCD of 1 between 3 and 5, and then I change the numerator to 6 using attribute assignment, I'd like it to be the case that the denominator changes automatically as well, so that the ratio 3 to 5th 3 to 5 is preserved. Now it's just 6 to 10. The denominator is 10 and the GCD is increased to 2. That's the greatest common divisor between 6 and 10. Now I don't have any method calls here, and yet this behavior is possible to implement in Python. You just have to use property methods. The at property decorator on a method designates that it will be called whenever it is looked up. You don't need the parentheses. There's a complementary decorator called a setter, which designates that the method below it will be called whenever that attribute is assigned. Now the attribute here in the decorator has to already exist as a property method. Let me show you. The first thing I'll do is add a GCD to the attribute list of a ratio by just computing it upon construction. The next thing I'm going to do is change the representation of a ratio so that numer and denom are always store, stored as relatively prime numbers just by dividing by self.gcd in both cases. Now I still want it to be the case that I can get a numerator and change it to whatever value I want. So the way that works is I define a property method. Its name is numer to say that when someone looks up the numer attribute, they're going to get the result of calling this method with no additional arguments. And in this case, in order to get the numerator, I just have to multiply in the GCD. And the same goes for the denominator. Now what are these underscores? Are they special in some way? Well, they don't have any effect on the language itself, but they're an indication to users of this class that they shouldn't be editing underscore numer directly. Instead, they should be accessing and editing the numer and denom properties. So, so far, if I create a ratio, I can still get the numerator and the denominator, and I can look up the GCD. It is the case that the actual internal representation of the numerator is not two but one. However, when I use an instance of this class, I access the numerator using numer, which is actually calling this method in order to compute the numerator times the GCD. Now I still don't have the behavior that I can set the numerator to something else. Can't set attribute. That's because I haven't implemented the setter method. I write numer.setter, where numer is an existing property. I can call this whatever I want. Typically it's just called numer as well. And this is a two argument method that takes self and a value. And what we're going to do here is not change the numerator at all, but instead change the GCD. I want it to be the case that value is some multiple of the original numerator. And if that's the case, all I'm really doing by setting the numerator is I'm changing this greatest common divisor to be whatever you get when you divide the value by the original numerator. Returning to our previous example, I can create one half. The numerator is two. If I set the numerator to three, now the denominator is not four, but six. 
and the GCD has changed to 3. And in this way, I have two different values, the numerator and the denominator, that always stay in the same proportion to one another. If I wanted to be able to assign to the denominator, I'd need a similar block of code to this. I'll leave it to you to try it out.